Welcome back to Cass County Health System post game show. Big thanks to Chad Williams and Jackson Eden for joining us. So both uh, great job tonight. A total team effort tonight, Coach. And uh, your thoughts here uh, after this win, 64 uh, for the Georgia's tonight, uh, the 26 for Shenandoah. And he got off a great start and just kept the foot of the gas the whole four quarters. We controlled tempo. Uh, we wanted the game to be fast. Uh, just for the simple fact that you saw when we did go man-to-man -man late, what Shenandoah's game plan was was to run a lot of clock, uh, put us in five-out motion. Uh, we just didn't want to get into a game early where it was slow pace and uh, Leonard had to come out on the floor and guard in those positions. Uh, we wanted to get a lot of offensive possessions in tonight just for the simple fact that we needed. And uh, our guys executed. We got some easy buckets. Our, our defense was aggressive with 17 steals. Um, is a nice mark regardless of who you're playing. Uh, especially to do it in another team's gym. Uh, we always talk about a Friday night game, and the uh, gym is tough in this conference. Uh, but Chase and, and Jackson set the whole tone out front. Those two combined for 13 steals. Uh, Chase hit eight, I believe school records nine in the division game. So he was he was looking for one more out there. There's no doubt about that. But uh, our guys, uh, I thought, played hard. I thought they played with some energy. I thought they played with some excitement. Uh, I told them that we were going to um, stat how many high fives were given on the court tonight as much as anything. I need to see guys that were enjoying the game and, and being there for each other. Uh, so when we watch film, uh, I think the results will probably be pretty good on that as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, the uh, team responded well, Coach. You're coming off a, a tough loss on Tuesday. Uh, and in the basketball season, you're going to have a few of those once in a while. Uh, but what can you say about I know you've talked about the, the, the effort, uh, but uh, boy, really, uh, an impressive uh, bounce back, a uh, great rebound on this team, mentally. Yeah, I did not think we practiced very well early in the season. Uh, I didn't think we practiced very well in the St. Albert game. And with the Red Oak Creston week, I thought our practices in between was great. I thought our practice was really good the night before Glenwood. And we didn't show it on game night, but then we came back with two really good practices again. So we've had two weeks of consistent practices. So. Consistency in practice means that it's going to start to show up on game night. Um, I think this was a step in the right direction. We need to get the taste out of our mouth um, from Tuesday uh, at Glenwood. And I think our guys addressed it fairly well at practice. Um, our practice Wednesday, Thursday were demanding. Um, there, there was uh, a lot of non-negotiables put on the table that our guys had to abide by. And uh, they did a good job responding. They're a coachable group. Um, they, they do know how to compete. I think at a fairly high level. So um, it's a win. It's a conference win. You know, we're going to try to keep our thing uh, ourselves in this race as long as we can until we start playing the basketball that we know we're capable of. Uh, and everything's still in front of us. I know we're two and one in this league. We know that we got a lot of the heavyweights coming to our gym when it counts. Uh, and most importantly, we're just trying to get better. Uh, as a well, tonight was certainly a step in the right direction. Uh, and without Tyler Mowen, uh, you had to have some guys step up, and they certainly did. You know, I thought um, when we brought Riley in, Riley came for a guard, uh, Podaski moved to a guard. Uh, that was an interchangeable part, and it made it quite easy because of how smart Podaski is. Podaski played the wing last year, so he remembers everything um, and he can recall everything, the sets and everything that we do, the different actions. Um, so it allowed us to play a little bit bigger out there uh, with that. Uh, and I thought Ben Reno gave us good minutes tonight. Um, you know, it's a chance uh, when somebody goes down, somebody has to step up. Uh, and I thought he did a good job uh, of filling that role. So th this was a good game for us. Uh, and it was a game that we needed. Uh, hopefully it can build some confidence. Some guys saw the ball go through the through the net. Uh, we got some guys that seen the ball go through the net and off the lot in practice and it hasn't gone on in games. So uh, I thought Jackson's two threes, uh, Chase's two threes, uh, shot him with confidence. They knew they were going in. And, uh, you know, we did it uh, on a night where, uh, you know, Alexander did not have one of his better shooting games from the outside. But I thought he was tremendous at getting in the lane. Yeah. And we talked a lot um, this last two days that if we don't start getting in the lane with the bounce, uh, that's, you know, Chase and Austin specific and, and could ask to a, a degree, it's going to be tough to be a good team if, if we're not a threat on the bounce. And I thought those guys uh, established that early. Um, probably the biggest thing in the game for, for me uh, as a coach was the six turnovers in the first quarter. We didn't have a turnover until the fourth. Uh, and we just need to continue to understand the value of the basketball. Coach, congratulations. Uh, great game tonight. Uh, you have some time. And then boy, Monday night, uh, Kemper, that's uh, going to be good on the road to Kemper. We're really looking forward to the game. You know, we want to beat a good team. Our next three games are against ranked opponents. Kemper seven in the state. Uh, St. Albert's is three and Harlan is six. That's our next three games. Harlan's not until after Christmas break. So we got two ranked opponents this week. 
Um, you know, we've got a third game of our, our three-game uh, road stretch at Kemper. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be a tough game. they got three really good guards. I think they play hard. They play good defense. Uh, we're looking forward to that game. You know, we'll come back on Sunday. We'll watch the film. Uh, we'll get a light workout in. Uh, as far as time in the gym, it'll be a hard workout. We'll work hard um, for the hour 15 that we're in there, and then we'll get ready to go to Kemper on Monday. Uh, I know as a coach, I'm looking forward to it. I know our guys are as well. The challenge is going to be great. Uh, and I think we've got some guys that are just really hungry right now to, to show up on the big stage and, and, and do uh, things the way they know.